Okay, a few weeks ago, um, a guy I met on YouTube requested uh, that I make a video demonstrating reaction tuning with the Opto Electronic Scout Model 40. So, I hacked together a cable, and this is not something you'd want to use in the field. There's weak points here at this connector, and then even worse here at this homemade one that I put some heat shrink around there at the bottom. But it'll do just fine for a lab test since we're in the lab. So, currently the ICOM is monitoring our local weather for frequency on uh, VHF. So let's power on the Scout and ensure that it's set to CI5. Okay, and it just sent the uh, hexadecimal code to the ICOM initializing its CI5 protocol. Of course, you have to set everything up in the menus first. Um, now the transmitter that we'll be using for this test is the ICOM IC 92AD right here. It's D-Star capable but right now it's just functioning in analog mode on Simplex 14652. So we should be able to key up on low power to protect the Scout. Well, before we do that, though, let me go ahead and uh, take the AF gain up a notch. Now I'm going to go ahead and TX at uh, 2 meter simplex. Testing, testing, KF4DBK. Testing, KF4DBK. So you can see the scout, when I, as I key down now, the scout receives multiple hits. and the rig is tuned to the frequency. I could get some feedback going, let's see. Let's try that. Turn the squelch up, turn up the volume. Testing, testing, KF4 DBK. Okay, so that's the ir irrefutable proof we need that the uh, Reaction tuning was working great, but we could go to VFO mode here. Got it on wide FM right now, but let's see. Uh, four forty four, for instance. KF4 DBK. Hmm, interesting. So we might have to look into uh, what what's not calibrated here. Testing KF4 DBK. Okay. And then you can see that the uh, scout agrees with. So we've got all three ingredients here. Uh, must have had a spurious um, emission before, or just an anomaly of some sort. But anyway, uh, reaction tuning, there it is.